Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. Welcome to Vegas Pro 18. We're going to talk about one of the new features, Black Bar Fill, today. And there's a couple of quirks about it that you might not know, so let's get started. So with Black Bar Fill, you can find it here in the General Effects tab, and you can just start typing in black and you'll see it right here in the middle between black and white and black restore and it gives you a lot of presets for creating a background now this has become super easy because you can just drag and drop a preset and boom you've already got that black bar fill look where typically cell phone footage or things like that where you're changing aspect ratios you now can fill in the sides so beforehand the way that would look is if you had to do that on your own you would have to like aspect ratio put it underneath and then add some gosh and blur and you can get kind of the same effect and there's ways to make it more exactly like the other one so in case you wanted to do it manually that's how that's just a quick like that exists but you don't have to do all that work anymore now it's just drag and drop which is awesome so here's a couple of things about the drag and drop sometimes it might not work and let's talk about why so with the black fill uh, it does a lot of different things like foreground shadow foreground no shadow foreground maximum shadow uh, what the foreground maximum shadow is is that's just if you have a shadow like some kind of lift or separation a dark shadow underneath your actual primary footage while the uh, black bar is filled with uh, the blurred out footage and so you can change those kinds of things like what where the footage is going to be located on the screen uh, hit control Z there you can change the blur of the shadow underneath it as well to make it gone or very prominent and you can also change where the backgrounds located so how zoomed in you are what part of the background is where and here's the zoom for it and the blur of the background you can make it super blurred or not really blurred at all I recommend blurring it a little bit because you don't want to fight for attention what you're trying to do is make it less more aesthetically pleasing that the edges are uh, there uh, what you're trying to do is make it more aesthetically pleasing without making it too busy. So the blur helps you make sure that it's going to stay not distracting. So what happens if you have footage, it looks like it's ready to go, and you drag and drop and nothing happens. Let's remove that effect with the remove effect button. I'm going to talk about that. So sometimes you might have footage. I simulated that with this footage over here. Uh, but like cell phone stuff where it's just ready, it's at a different aspect ratio than your project properties. So here's your project properties you can see your aspect ratio mine is set to be an actual 4k aspect ratio right out of the gate so if you've got something that complies with that like 4k or 1080p something that's going to be that nice little rectangle it's going to fit in your project window but if you put in cell phone footage it's not it's going to be uh like improperly taken cell phone footage it's not it's going to have uh probably it's going to be very vertical and it's going to have very large annoying black bars on the side but if we look here in the event pan crop, we hit this button here and go to the event pan crop, you can see it actually thinks the whole thing's there. This video has baked in black bars. And so baked in black bars mean this is not an aspect ratio issue. The aspect ratio has already been set. It's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. See if we go to 16 by 9, it's the same aspect ratio. So I'm going to go to this first keyframe here. Uh, and we're going to actually cut it to the aspect ratio we need Vegas to understand that it actually is so uh, see this X and Y we're gonna have to unlock that if that's not unlocked this is not gonna work also you want to make sure you're either on the first keyframe or you don't have this sync cursor selected because you don't want to make a keyframe you don't want to do any motion with this and uh, you just gotta grab the corner and cut it in until see you don't want to do that you want to cut it in until it touches the sides just right exactly and you can zoom in with your mouse wheel if you want to be a little more precise all right so now it's ready to accept the black bar fill effect you can get 
whatever you want out of it. So this is a short one for you. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. If you're interested in learning how to edit from scratch, like you don't know anything and you want to learn in Vegas, well, I've got you covered with a Udemy course. So please check that out below. I'm also working on a new one, so stay posted. Thank you so much for watching.